Hello everyone, welcome again to Zahid's data mining channel and this is going to be a quick presentation on a clustering algorithm, a clustering software that is freely available online. In this quick presentation, I will show you the freely available software for this uh, algorithm, uh, clustering algorithm called combining k-means and a genetic algorithm through a novel arrangement of genetic operators for high quality clustering. The paper was published in Expert Systems with Applications in 2018. Expert Systems with Applications is of course a very high quality uh, uh, journal. For a full reference of the paper, you can just Google, uh, you can just type on the Google search uh, Zahid Islam, that's my name. And this is uh, Zahid's uh, data mining channel, of course, in YouTube. So if you uh, type Zahid Islam, I think you may possibly get the first link as my my uh, web page. Then if you go to the publications on my web page, at the moment, this is the third number of uh, paper there. Uh, it may change, but combining k-means with genetic algorithm, and you can get the full reference there. Uh, on my web page. You can actually download this code from my web page as well in addition to Weka that I will demonstrate now and uh, and uh, I will show you uh, how to do that. Perhaps most of you already know what is clustering but just a very quick uh, expl ex example of clustering. Say if you have a data set of two variables age and height and these are different people uh, the first person had age of 23 and height of 6.5 and if you have uh, a data set like that of course you can plot it on a two-dimensional tape gra graph here because there are two variables and you can see that uh, the, these are the records so of course these uh, four records together will uh, possibly form a cluster they are clusters of people because they have very similar age and very similar height Whereas here you can see two, uh, you can see another four people clustered together. So that's clustering. If you have too many variables, more than two, then you cannot, of course, draw them on a two-dimensional table. But this is a understanding conception of clustering. This clustering uh, software is freely available in Weka. Of course, in Google, if you just type W E K A Weka you will see the Weka download uh, link and you can freely download Weka. Once you have downloaded Weka 3.8, this is the latest version, this uh, icon will come up, uh, will show up on your desktop and then if you double click on it, the software will start. For the very first time, uh, you need to uh, install GenClass++, this software. You can go to Tools, Package Manager, and then you can search for GenClass++. Uh, possibly, if you already have downloaded Weka before, then you may need to refresh your repository cache. Once you have refreshed your repository cache, you can search for this algorithm gen class plus plus and then enter and then it will show up gen class plus plus then you can install it just by clicking install and it also shows the details of this algorithm uh, the full reference to it and then you need to install it. So once you clicked on this install, then Gen++ will be automatically installed. And then if you go to this installed uh, radio button, you will see it has been included there. So Gen++ has been installed. So after it is installed, you need to restart Weka. That's the very first time. It's not every time you need to do that. Very first time you need to do that. After you restart Weka, of course, Weka uh, GUI chooser will come up and the first thing you need to do the open the Explorer. I will show you an example how you can use now Gen++ to cluster your data set. Now the first thing is you need to now open a data set that you want to cluster. 
right i showed you pre previously an example data set now you need a real data set i'm you i'm just opening uh, a data set that comes up with weka anyway when you have installed weka so that data set is called um, iris dot uh, first i'm showing an example of using an existing data set so you can cluster uh, an existing data set so when you have downloaded weka it will come up with a lot of data sets anyway to play with. So I'm using a data set called vote.arf, a vote data set. And if I open the data set, then immediately in Weka Explorer, you can see the data set and it comes up with a lot of variables. And one of them is a class attribute. Uh, the class attribute is either Democrat or Republican. Uh, depending on many other information, we can possibly see these are Democrats uh, supporter and this is Republican supporter, something like that possibly. And then when you want to cluster these records, so if you go to cluster, then you can choose now Gen Plus Plus Plus. Of course, in Weka, you have many other clustering techniques, not just Gen Plus Plus Plus. So when you choose Gen Plus Plus Plus, then you can actually say that, okay, classes to cluster. Uh, for evaluation so I want to check the clustering result with the class values that uh, you have in the data set whether Democrat or Republican and then you start uh, the clustering will happen so the advantage of gen plus 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 is it does not require you to provide number of clustering for example k-means when you use k-means uh, the first thing k-means will ask you to provide the number of clusters so if you don't know how many clusters are there uh, how many clusters there are in a data set then gen plus 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 is a suitable one uh, moreover gen plus 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 uses uh, a genetic algorithm for good quality clustering now once the clustering is done you can see in this example there are altogether 19 clusters cluster 0 cl to cluster uh, 18 and you can see in some of this clustering say for example cluster number nine you can see there are 90 democrats and only one republican so you can possibly see that there is a huge concentration of democrats within this cluster cluster number nine similarly cluster number 10 there are only uh, zero democrats uh, on and 14 uh, republicans so now if i go up and look at the clusters and their clustering results say for example cluster number nine we can see the uh, variable values in cluster number nine there are you know the cluster number nine the first variable uh, handicapped infants is y then water project cost sharing i don't know these uh, variables in details but if you have a data set you will know about the variables then by carefully watching the values you will know the properties of the of the uh, uh, records belonging to those clusters and then you need to understand why there are all so so many democrats in that and that actually helps you in knowledge discovery i'm now quickly showing another example say for example iris.arff when you open another data set iris data set you can see it has only four variables as opposed to your previous uh, a data set and there is a class uh, attribute here so you can see uh, there are different uh, uh, types of uh, uh, records and you can now cluster them again using gen plus 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 and if you click start the clustering will happen so clustering is done and you can see that this time it found three clusters uh, no actually it found two clusters uh, if you go up you can see this is cluster 0 and this is cluster 1. It found two clusters. So cluster 0 has, has sepal length 5 and cluster 1 has sepal length 6.3, uh, sep, sepal width 3.4 whereas 2.9. So there are different values for two different clusters. And you can see that three different classes, iris setosa, there are, uh, there are uh, 50 iris setosa in this uh, data set and all of them are actually clustered in cluster 0. So that you can see uh, some sort of concentration of iris setosa in cluster zero and you can actually uh, then explore the reason of that. So these are the values of cluster zero and they, the, with these values, uh, this is the center of the cluster of course and, and records surrounding these values 
are all in iris setosa you can actually visualize the cluster as well if you like uh, visualize cluster setting and you can possibly see the um, values of uh, different val different records uh, as opposed to you know each other so if you can you can choose two different variables in x and y and then you can see that cluster zero are all uh, blue color and cluster one are all red color so you can see the uh, distribution of records uh, in different clusters so this is how you can use uh, gen plus 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 in weka it's freely available feel free to download it and have fun